Dear creative ruts, you suck. But I mean, I get it. How are you supposed to have great ideas flow from nowhere all the time? That doesn't just happen. What does it even mean to be creative? Because if you are in a situation where you have to continuously create the thing that you love to do, that's your hobby, but it's also a job that you do for other people, there's no room for a creative rut. Like there's no room to not do something or not provide the service that someone's paying you to do. There's no room to say, I just have no ideas right now. Like, no, you have to go through your creative process, do the steps that you always take to get that product done. And most of the times it's not gonna be the best work that you're gonna give to them. It's not gonna be something that you're super proud of or super happy about or something that you're even gonna put on your reel. But it's something that you put the time to make great and it's something that the client's gonna love because we're not always gonna create our best work. And in those moments, especially when you're working with a client, you have no room for a creative rut, but you're still able to create something satisfactory for them. You're still able to create something that they're gonna be happy with and you're still gonna get paid. But why is it when it comes to stuff that is important to us, like our personal stuff, like either creating consistently on YouTube or just creating a short film that you're really passionate for, we end up saying that we're in a creative rut and you can't think of anything creative to put into those projects. Maybe, you know, we should treat it a little bit more like a um, client, right? Where we are forcing ourselves to create, not because we want to, but because we have to, because we made a promise to our client that we have to um, fulfill, right? And it's the same thing that we're making a promise to ourselves, or if you have a bigger following, you're making a promise to them that you are creating something and even if you're not in the best headspace, you're still gonna get it done because you're making that promise to yourself or to other people. I think creative ruts are just a way to justify why you're not creating and to justify being scared of letting your bad ideas flow. Because it's very important to sometimes just get your bad ideas out there. And even though they may seem bad to you because they don't live up to the videos or the projects that you've made before, so you feel like they're not good enough, to someone it might be completely different. And that's the beauty of art, is that sometimes it might not be good for you, but you got it out there, still something that was inside of you, you got it out, and maybe it impacts someone. And maybe that made their day or even that hour that they, it made them smile because you got that out anyways. And sometimes we just have to get out that, that junk in our head, right? We have to get out our bad ideas so we can make room for our good ideas to flow. And it's very important to continuously create because you're not gonna get to that aha moment. You're not gonna get to that great idea if you're so stuck with those bad ideas in your mind. And I'm not saying, you know, all you have is bad ideas, but the creative process is all about consistently creating. A good artist isn't one that always has great ideas all the time, but it's one that is willing to make mistakes and is able to learn from those mistakes and pick out what is the best parts from those mistakes that I can put into my next project and then finally create a masterpiece that people are gonna love. It makes me think about how we forget that everything is about change and that you're not gonna go through that change of becoming a mediocre creator to a great one or a better one if you don't just consistently create and try to improve every step of, of the way. And what separates someone from being mediocre to a professional is just getting it done. And like I said with your client, you just get it done because you have to. Like you have a deadline, they're paying you or you have an agreement and you get it done. It doesn't matter if you think it's the best thing in the world or the worst thing you ever made, you still get it done and you still take feedback and you make it better. That's how we have to treat ourselves with any art that we are creating and that's what's gonna separate us from mediocre artists to professional artists is that you are gonna get it done. You are gonna muscle up whatever it is that you are dealing with and you're gonna get that next project done. And if it does something good for you, awesome. And if it doesn't do anything, then you move on to the next one. And that's all it's about is moving on to the next one. You keep going and keep creating because that's how you're gonna get the best work done is just moving on to the next one. And if you're in a creative rut right now, I just want you to think about how it's just a moment of doubt. It's just a moment of fear, maybe something someone said that got you to a creative rut, but it can pass. All you have to do is 
just get out of it, create something. It probably won't be the best, but you just create something and you get out of it, you force yourself out of it. And it's just a fight game. You just focus on creating a little bit more every time and it's just gonna snowball. And that's how a lot of artists get out of their creative ruts is just to force themselves to get out of it. Either a client comes around and then it sparks an idea somewhere else, but just forcing yourself to create and do something that you enjoy. Maybe even just take your medium, you know, your camera and just take a walk somewhere. And maybe that will inspire you to do something, but it's just forcing yourself to create just one more thing, just something that's gonna get you out of that lazy spot in your life and you'll do something awesome.